Good day YouTubers, thanks for joining me. This is video 18 in my series of videos on Ontario Northland models and HO. And today we're taking a look at lifelike Proto 2000 series freight cars. Now, um, they offered both flat cars and mill gondolas for the Ontario Northland Railway. The mill gondolas in two separate paint schemes. And we will put the uh, flat cars aside and let's take a look at the mill gondolas here first. So, uh, a nicely built, uh, nice weight to it, nicely detailed with the separately applied grab irons and such. Um, as per my last video, um, Lifelike with their Proto 1000 and 2000 series were doing a nice job of providing some, some well painted, well detailed models in um, some additional road names and such than, uh, than we had seen available on the market previous. Um, so, a nice quality car. Um, so, I only have the one road number, uh, 5016, in the blue uh, Chevron scheme. Now, I am aware that they made uh, uh, quite a few other cars. I, I have confirmed road numbers 510, 525, and 535 for sure. Appears that they made anywhere between three and six more. And I haven't been able to confirm those road numbers. It seems like these cars are uh, fairly hard to come by still. It seems like for whatever reason, the uh, progressive paint scheme models are uh, a little more frequently available on eBay or the used market. So I've got three of these. Road numbers uh, 5014, 5020, and 5028. I'm aware of, uh, again, a few more road numbers, um, 5,000 even, 50, 30, um, 5,008, 5,014, uh, 5,022, 5,054, and 5,060, and I'm sure there are a few others as well that have uh, eluded my research. Um, I used to have a few more of these, but when uh, Rapido announced their mill gondolas and their FP7As there last year. I recognized that uh, my potential investment with them was going to exceed uh, what finances I had available, so I decided that I had to purge my collection of some of the older models, so I've decided that I should be uh, content with a partial collection of these road numbers. So taking a, a little closer look at uh, this mill gondola, in the progressive scheme. Again, nicely painted, nicely detailed car. Um, it's got the uh, the wood effect, wood plank inside there, and some reasonably nice detailing on the underside as well. Now, um, as we were seeing with uh, some of the other Proto 2000 locomotives and models, on the packaging provided, um, they did a good job talking about the actual prototype. Um, so this here, 52 foot 6 inch drop end mill gondola, and uh, first designed and built by the Greenville Steel Car Company for the Erie Railroad. Um, so as I understand it, this car wasn't completely prototypical for what the Ontario Northland had. They had NSC cars that appeared very similar, but these uh, were not exact matches. Um, here to provide uh, an interesting comparison, we've got the more recent Rapido car. So putting these side by side here. Um, the length and general appearance of the car um, seems to be somewhat of a match. You do see a few uh, variations in detail in regards to uh, grab iron size and location. Um, what uh, Rapido marketed to quite a degree of detail, I'm not sure if you can see it there, but it talked about the uh, the style of the channel on the on the side brace of the car. Get that a little more into focus. But uh, nice rivet details, very nice uh, uh, paint and livery details. 
and what the Rapido cars had that the um, the lifelike ones did not is uh, the removable drop end. So uh, both of these were nicely built cars in my opinion. Both the earlier Proto 1000, I'm sorry, the earlier Proto 2000 uh, mill gondola and the new offering by Rapido. We'll take a little closer look at the um, the Rapido cars in a in a later video. Um, now I showed you the packaging there for um, what the cars looked like as a built-up kit. Now they also came available in a solid gray box here as a model kit that you could construct. Now this example here is for the 50-ton uh, flat car, which we'll look at next. I didn't have any uh, of the kits myself for the uh, mill gondola, but I know that they're out there. So moving on to the um, the 50-ton flat car now. Now um, these are again somewhat prototypical. I don't think they're exact matches for the Ontario Northlands uh, car of this size and length, but uh, they're the closest that's been uh, made available to market so far. And the paint scheme there, the uh, the box car red, uh, nicely done. It seems to be a good match for what the uh, Ontario Northland had. And some nice uh, faux wood planking effect there on the decking. Some nice uh, underbody detailing. If we are uh, picking up any of these cars uh, used, or if you find an old kit to build, be cautious about the, uh, the brake wheel here on the far end. It is rather delicate, and it does like to... Uh, break or go missing. Now they did at least two runs of these cars. Again, uh, they appear to have been done both as built-up kits and as models that you could construct. So taking a look here, here is a, a box for the, uh, the built-up kit. So the AAR 50-ton flat car. I believe uh, Ontario Northland's uh, comparable flat cars were again an NSC product but again to a very similar design and again uh, some prototype history on the back of the car now what I really like about uh, life like Canada was that they were very honest with the consumer and they provided a little note that this lifelike flat car accurately depicts an AAR standard riveted car um, and that no standard flat cars were built for any Canadian railroad. However, a national steel car and Canadian car and foundry built similar looking one inch shorter flat cars. So, um, you know, for most model railways, model railroaders, they were content with having something that was as close to the prototype as these cars were. And uh, we haven't seen anything else since. Now, I think I was commenting just a moment ago, they did do two separate production runs. I'll pull my uh, mill gondolas back aside and we'll talk about some of those other numbers. Um, it appears that they did a total of uh, 10 different road numbers and two separate runs. Uh, cars 301, 303, 305, and 307. I won't bother to get these all on the track because I'll be uh, investing more time than needed. And then a second run uh, that included cars um, 100 339, 100 341, 100 343, 100 345, 100 347, and 100 349. So sorry, on, on the first few cars I mentioned there, the, uh, the first three digits are uh, 100 or uh, or actually 101 but um, you can see between the two different production runs that they had uh, a different shade of wood effect planking but otherwise the cars do appear uh, somewhat identical and again nicely built some nice weight to them for a flat car lots of uh, heavy structure there and uh, still a quality model this is a note you'll see. I, I acquired most of my products used and um, an individual had secured that top deck with a, a screw and bolt. 
Um, I think I will just strategically make sure that when I'm uh, um, modeling a load on these cars at a future date that I hide that. So I'll be satisfied with uh, with the modification to those cars. Um, and that is it in regards to the Proto 2000 uh, freight cars as uh, manufactured for Ontario Northland. Hope you enjoyed my uh, video here today. I'll look to have another one up very soon. Thank you.